what a course, what a city, what a country, what a race. And we are finished. We were just in the starting pen. A little bit of a shambles, everyone getting here. Like, we're all squashed down this really narrow, like, path in the woods, like, in the park. But we're all here, like, it's a bit of a, like, nowhere near, like, what London is, where it's, like, massive open parks. You just kind of, like, get crammed down, like, this really narrow passage, and there's people climbing over fences and all sorts. Yeah, so that's not, like, there's not many people, like, shepherding, like, where you're going or anything. It's just a bit weird. But yeah, the start line's just up here. So yeah, lining up on the right, as I said in the videos previously, just because I want to get to that first bend, it's like 3k in to be able to go right. So yeah, but I'll um, touch, we've got 15, like 10 minutes to go, so I'll touch base when we cross the line. See you in a bit. So I've got to make some ground up, but it's all about moving. Not get too excited. Just get into my groove nice and early. Touch pace after the first 5k. It's the first 5k done. 20 minutes and 10 seconds. A little bit behind. Part is quite high. It's quite humid. So I'm probably going to get rid of the arm sleeves. Um, and then just try and get into rhythm now. It was quite congested at the start. But I really need to try and get into rhythm now because my heart rate's way too high. Drink station's a fucking chaos. You can't squeeze the cups, it just sloshes in your face. Make any sense? It's 10k done, 40 minutes, 14 seconds. Don't think 245's on. Just don't know, don't know if it's not right. Just can't get into a rhythm. Heart rate's like quite high, really on threshold. Um, so I'm pacing this for a 250, but I may change, I may bring it back. Because at the minute I feel awful. Um, well, Connor. Thank you. It's one of them. If it, it's one of them things sometimes. But we'll see how we feel. I always start sluggish, but the heart rate is what's bothering me. So we'll see how I feel next 5k. Touch face then. 15k just over an hour. I am behind schedule. But the pace is and heart rate are getting towards where I want them now. So maybe I'm getting into that groove. I am. But breathing's tough, so I'm going to touch face. Later on, halfway. <laughs> 20k and 120. Um, average pace for 58. But I'm, I'm about 200 meters short on my watch. So, average pace is probably about 4, 4 to 1. But, quick up there, halfway. Halfway, 124.30. So, on pace for 250 if we hold it. The Comfix is irritating my stomach a little bit. So, I'm at the sort of just swill it and spit rather than swallow but shall we go just basic 25 water station's the worst i've seen worst i've seen it's free for all no organization or nothing 25k in about 140 feeling a little bit of a twinge in my left calf like really low but yeah see how we go on may change but i think is I think even if I coached it in, I'd be well under PB. So we'll see how we get on. If it's 20 miles, it's all gone south. We'll just slow it down and just get in. My feet are hurting. Incredible. Run the marathon barefoot. Woo! 30k, two hours, 20 seconds. So the big man's probably not far off finishing. Um, average pace 358 again, but I'm probably like 250 meters over. Um, just taking the gel, don't feel like taking them at all. This is the time when I need to remember all those tough sessions. 
all those fucking sessions that I hated during training. I'm gonna need them now. Middle, middle of 36k. Cramps hit the left car. Just can't shake it. So we're just gonna slow it down, try and jog it out. Both wise. We're just gonna jog it in. Five killer. Forty just under 41. Really bad stitch. Come on, let's go. Ah, oh, fuck it. Through the Brandenburg Gate. I'm in a world of pain. I see the finish line. So you see. Hardest race of my life. I think we just just missed out on on the 252. I think it was about 252 in a couple of seconds, but couldn't have gone any quicker. It's about a four or five minute PB. I tell you, I couldn't have gone any quicker than that. That was the hardest race of my life. Cramp. I've got to sort this cramp issue out. Threatened to derail Manchester, but I managed to control it. Got a really bad 37k in Manchester, uh, in London, and then 36k just grabbed me, and I was, I was never shaking it off. But I need to learn from that lesson. Hopefully, that, hopefully that'll get me Boston 2025. It's also a Chicago qualifier, so I've got options again. But yeah, what a race, what a city. Unbelievable. Thank you to get a medal now. Is it okay to go on camera? Yeah. For YouTube? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. There we go. Who's on the back of this one? Jeb Churcher. Oh. Second man at the Major Storm. Just looking at me watch now. Average pace 402. My GPS gives the course like 300 meters extra, which is normal. Average heart rate 176. It's quite high. Yeah, 252.02. I don't usually drink. See, I've said this on the channel before. I don't drink a lot. But I'm having a beer tonight. I'm going to hold in Erdinger. I'm going to get some water now. Oh, look at this. Cups again. It's the one thing I don't like about this race. The cups just make no sense whatsoever. Like, you just drop it everywhere. Yeah, look, I'll do a full debrief. Like, later on or another day. But I just, I knew from, well, the first 400 meters, I knew that we were never going to get too fair, 245. Like, it just didn't feel on. The legs felt heavy. So, I don't know. I, I, I think the fact that... I think the fact that I tapered for three weeks again probably doesn't help. I think I'm probably a two week taper kind of person. Because when I tapered for two and a half for Manchester, I felt a lot better. So I think next time, next time I really need to focus on this 
getting the tape right now. It would have been two and a half weeks this time if I wasn't tight. But I had, I had tightness, so it's one of them. But yeah, it's such a good race. The atmosphere is incredible. Like, London's sort of like. Good job, Kano. Thank you very much. You're on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's your name? Jean. I... Hey. Follow on YouTube? Yeah, it's the best. Thank you. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Thank you. So, yeah, like. I would've, it would have been a two and a half week taper for this, but obviously the tightness after the last long run, you can't help things like that. But I would love to return to Berlin because it's such a PB friendly course. You can smash your goals on this. If you, if you can get the tangents right, wow. Like I only run 300 meters extra on this and it's a major marathon, that's incredible. The Adios Pro 3 is unbelievable again, but yeah. I executed the best I could on the day. So, yeah, it is what it is. Go get me bag, go get some recovery going. So it's basically it. So I was four seconds behind on my watch. Um, the official net time is two hours, 51 minutes and 58 seconds. So it's also a New York qualifier. So I'm buzzing with that. 1,669th of the whole race. Halfway in 124, 29. Yeah. So a positive split, I knew, I knew I went out a bit too hot, like, not a lot hot, but I went out at a pace that was too slow, but I should have paid attention to the effort, like my heart rate was way too high. Um, but yeah, do you know what? <laughs> I can't complain with a 252, like, in the, considering like I'd stopped about three times. Really happy. Um, yeah. Yeah, just one of those things, like, wow. I'll call free here, didn't get I've just got a 3k walk to the hotel, slept the case, and then, yeah. And then I'll probably get an Uber to my next hotel. Probably need to find somewhere near the airport that I can eat. But yeah, good day all in all. Wasn't what I wanted, but happy with the PB. Um, yeah, but look, such a good, such a good race. Um, I'll probably do like, I'll try and get the vlog out as quick as I can. I'll probably do like a recap video, but yeah.